The prayer of Lecha Dodi is sung on Shabbat in Jewish communities around the world, but the story behind the man who composed it takes us to Salonika, Greece's second largest city, and a haven for Sephardi Jews post-inquisition. Spanish Jews brought with them not just custom, but poetry as well, Hebrew poetry that was developed by learning Arabic poetic structure in Muslim Spain centuries prior. And that's how we get to Rabbi Shlomo Alkabet, who was born in the early 16th century in Salonika. Having grown up with a longing for the land of Israel, in 1529 he set out on a journey. Rabbi Alkabet was a charismatic speaker and taught communities along the way, until finally, in 1535, he settled in Sifat. He joined the Kabbalists there, who shared his passion for Zion, which brings us to probably his most well-known composition, Lecha Dodi. This song is sung in many tunes in various Jewish communities on Friday night. He based his poem on a description in the Talmud that reads, Rabbi Hanina robed himself and stood at sunset of Sabbath Eve and exclaimed, Come and let us go forth to welcome the Queen Sabbath. Rabbi Anai donned his robes on Sabbath Eve and exclaimed, Come, O bride, come, O bride. Lecha dodi likrat kala, go forth, my love, toward the bride. Pene Shabbat nikabela, the face of Shabbat shall we welcome. And the rest? Well, it's less about Shabbat and more about the land of Israel. Well, the potential for a state to be exact. You see, Rabbi Shlomo Alkabet believed in the coming of the redemption and sought ways to speed it up. He believed the way to bring the redemption was to take the right steps. And for him, the right steps were preparing groundwork for a state in the land of Israel, including a legal structure, such as the Sanhedrin, the religious council that made legal rulings in the times of the temple. Rabbi Alkabet expressed his yearning and belief in the redemption in the Chadodi. Mikdash Merech Ir Melucha he refers to the holy city of royalty, Jerusalem, and the city shall be rebuilt on the ancient site. And the rest, well, you'll have to read it yourself to truly appreciate the poetry that in its structure, as in its content, takes us through the Muslim land in exile to the land of Israel. <laughs>